I had said to them, um, the gold price was down. Our, I think the gold price had got to about 380, and uh, our cost of production, cash cost, was 360. So fully loaded cost was about the uh, gold price. I said to the union, "It's not going to work," and we uh, we tore up the collective agreement that had been established over since the union was there in the early 50s, um, which I didn't think was very good. And I said, look, we're in business to make money. If we don't make money, this mine's going to be shut down. Uh, I see a way of keeping it going by changing our operating relationship. And first and foremost, you have to understand that we're in business to make money. If we make money, we can share it. If we don't make money, we can't share it. And the community loses as well. Second, safety is not the exclusive preserve of management. It is a mutual responsibility of labor and management. And they found those two thoughts rather, um, they were opposed to them. And I said, in terms of technology and training, I'd like to broaden the skill set of everyone so they have better opportunities if they happen to go to another mine or even within their own mine. And they didn't like that training. And then when we rewrote their collective agreement, they said, we're going out on strike. And the strike lasted 46 months. It was one of the longest industrial strikes in North America, the longest in the mining industry. 